Happy Saturday, everybody. As you can see, I got my number one and my nephew, D. I know you guys miss me. Ah, I'm sure they've been wondering. Today I have, boy, you don't understand. Look at that. Look at that. Chilling. It's cold today. And my salad, tomatoes, onions, bell, um, cucumbers. Let's say our grace. Jump right in. The boys are hungry. They keep saying how hungry they are. How hungry they are. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food we're about to receive. May it nourish our bodies and strengthen our minds. In your name, we all pray. Amen. Ah, get it, y'all. Hey, what's up with the park? Yes, just a second. Oh, you gotta get a taste for it. Oh, yeah. He asked him for Parmesan. I said, hold up. I didn't even taste it yet. I wanted to, I tasted it, you know, I'm a cook. I sample. But come on, give me a break. Oh, yeah, it's like... They don't like Ooh, have you heard that, um... Comic Con got uh, canceled this year. It's, yep. it's the first time in 50 years it's ever been they, canceled. As they said postponed till June, didn't they? Mm-mm. All right, it's canceled. Yeah. Yep. Here. In 50 years. Yeah, it was on the news, remember? No, uh-uh. Talking about the Comic Con. He reaching out for my Parmesan. Oh, don't do that. He yes. done went crazy. She gets very violent. He done <laughs> went, he done made day. that up. I don't do it. You notice when she handed it to me, I didn't reach. Anyway, <laughs> Hell's Kitchen, rookies versus veterans. Now back to the original boys against the girls. Story time, boys and girls. When we left, when we last left off, our hero was hanging by a cliff. <laughs> ah, where do we begin? Let's start with Kev. Kevin got voted off this time. And he got voted off because you can clearly see he lost his hunger. He ain't hungry no more. Hell's Kitchen is for people who are hungry. They want to get there. They want to do good. They want to make good money. Kevin already making good money. He was just doing it for basically bragging rights. He was hoping that he was going to just come in there and wipe everybody off the side of the earth. And he was going to be dominant in all his endeavors. 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 But anyway, you know, he already owned the, the ski slope. And then in the summertime, it's the pool resort with the zip line. He cook on the side. Nigga got a charity job. That brother get paid. Hmm. Crackers, guys? Yep. Mm -hmm. Chef Ramsey seen it. And Chef Ramsey didn't want no part of it. He just went hungry. Here, baby. DJ, you want crackers? Mm -hmm. Told you my nephew DJ be back today. For those who tune in daily. Told ya. Can't stay away. Ain't no one can. <laughs> but I do have an infectious personality. What you get is what you see. What you see is what you get. Hold up. Let's take a moment to talk about T and Heather. Are we fucking on Hell's Kitchen? Are they allowed to do that? Then they're having to love her spat. T don't want to talk to her. 
And these are both veterans. Y'all better shut the up. Uh, really? They voted tease old black country crispy ass off there, didn't they? Did you see when team put that slot on the plate and took that girl, what's her name? Kanye? Kanye. But Kanea, whatever her name is, took her little dish off there and said her dish was, T said her dish was better than a uh, Kanye girl. How in the hell she would have said that would have been four. She would have had an eight out of ten. T, you knew you had some slop and you was hoping that that slop tastes like something. Okay, that's enough for them. T got voted off. Heather's still there for now. No spoiler alerts. I'm going to blow you on blast. I would have watched more, but I had to prepare. Just chili. Chili take time. Honestly. Chili take time. And even with my two sous chefs here, it still take time. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? Let me see this thing. I'm going to do that again. It was messy. Not necessary. It is what it is. I'm going to edit that out. Try that again. Next, Trevor. Trevor can cook. But nine times out of ten, I don't know what the hell Trevor doing. And if I don't know what he's doing, neither do he. I'll be looking. And I'm about tired of Scott Lee. But he beat Gizzy's ass. I was tired of her. Gizzy, Jizzy, whatever her name is. It's just all bunk, you know? Mm. I'm so hungry, I can't even talk. Sorry, guys. You know, I eat them one time a day. And my fruit and stuff. Today, I done went over the time I normally eat. So, I feel like I'm in some type of famine movie. But, it's cool. Nice croutons. Just a little dressing on top. You don't want to go wild. Black is on. For those who watch my show, they know it's my shit.
Chef Ramsey asked him. Isn't it uh, he sold him. Isn't it ironic that you took her job in Atlanta? I'm talking about Scott Lee and Gizzy. He said, ironic, you took her job in you know in Atlanta. Now you taking her job here. I said, Wow. He said he couldn't believe in her no more. He said he didn't believe in her because she didn't believe in herself. She started letting other people cook her food at her station and shit. You know you can't do that. Number one, chef ain't gonna let you do that. I ain't gonna let somebody else cook at your station and try to take credit for it. Who cooked those Wellingtons? I did, chef. Bitch, no you didn't. T cooked them damn things. But T started acting like a big ass kid in service. Went and talked to Heather. Heather trying to ask her questions. She it completely ignoring he uh, Heather, but she's answering some of the other people. But clearly, T had an attitude. My guy was saying about Jennifer. T, shut the fuck up. You about to get paid. Cook your ass off and do your damn job. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Let go. She want anything I put in my mouth. My oldest dog, Chubb, she a mess. What she trying to do is be secretive from Jewel. You know, Jewel sitting right in the head looking at her. She go to the room and eat it. She take it all the way in the room and eat it. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got motherfuckers a victim. She's dragging it in the back. Have you ever seen that? I think it was a TikTok. Well, this raccoon was fighting this lizard. And the lizard threw its tail off like to get the raccoon off of it. Raccoon wanted the bigger prize. Drug him in the dark. Killed his ass. It's not funny. You know, but it is, you know. But, you know, we on the food chain here. Oh, we supposed to be at the top of the food chain, yeah, but if we go in the jungle, we at the bottom, almost at the bottom, because ain't none of us fighting no lion by hand. Hey. We got some of us who are fools and will try, but I'll send everybody copies of their obituary if you like. Anyway, so they voted T's ass off of there. You know who I think next to go? No spoilers. Trev, hold up. Did y'all see Chris have a fucking breakdown? He won the challenge for the, t for the red team. He won it. Then he, I'm hearing voices. Uh, I'm hearing demons. <laughs> Chef said, okay, you got to go. You need medical assistance. He said, we will help. But you have to get the hell off this show. Mm. That motherfucker, Chef heard that shit. Because Chef that said, no. <laughs> and he opened up to Christine. I bet he didn't think Christine was going to run right back right then. That's that girl's job, y'all. She's not your friend. She's the living mo that everybody knows. And 
at the end of the day, that's y'all little competition. When y'all leave, y'all go home. At the end of the day, that's Christine's job. When she leaves, she go home, but she come back the next day. Forever. She gonna work for Chef Ramsey until he die. Or until she open up her own restaurant, which I don't see it happening. Why? When you got easy money waiting. Christine, I know somebody in your little loop, circle, click gonna tell you about me. It's cool. I love you, girl. I love you. Congratulations. But, stay with Chef. Stay with him. Because he take care of you. He love you, girl. And I ain't talking about no nasty sexual shit. No uncle in the closet. Chest molester type shit. I'm talking about he really care about you. Since Ever since you was in the show. He took you under his wing. And he just kept going with you. So, don't betray him or nothing. Which I don't see you doing nothing like that. You seem like you a hundred. From what I've seen. You know, I don't work with y'all. I don't know. You know, I don't work with y'all. I don't know what you do when, you know, camera's off. You know, but still you seem like a sweet person. But next, Trev. That's who I want to be gone next. I keep acting like he's this genius cook, but he waiting the right time like a puma to jump out. Trev, now if you don't sit, you look, don't he look like he done took a hit? Every time he say something, his eyes are so damn big. You see them damn Dolphin movies, then he look like he done took a hit or something. He done messed or something. All the cleaning supplies uh, Chef got, he'll start his own lab. <laughs> I'm playing. Now little kick to it. The spice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What y'all do today? That's what's up. That's what's up. My nephew, we done discussed earlier this week when he was going to come back after his 14-day quarantine from us after visiting his girlfriend. So... He done lasted 14 days without no coughs or fevers. I guess he's good to go. The second that nigga coughs. Oh, nigga, no. <laughs> Remember that TikTok and then coughing in the bathroom? Yeah. They say, you know, it's bad when you have to hide in the bathroom to cough. He went to the bathroom. He looked around. He <coughs> The bathroom door busted like it was swat. It was like his whole family. No, nigga, no. He wait a minute. I ain't got nothing. They they drug him out the bathroom. He was clawing on the wall. It was comical. I swear to God, man. I had to get myself together. I watched it like three, four times. Then I showed my number one, and he laughed. It was funny. My, he said they bust in like SWAT. He be saying some shit. Oh, Pippin ain't easy, y'all. Pippin ain't easy. Let me explain my rationale. Oh, okay. God. My number one over here. My nephew DJ over there. Both my blood. Period. 
Here we go. Mike and DJ finally got to play the PlayStation basketball game. I told you Mike been practicing all week. And Mike said, you think I got it, baby? I've been sitting up with him, telling him his ideals on shit. Hey, I don't play no more, but I will. Remember, I told y'all, I'm a gamer now. But I will give direction. Can't just be good at everything. People tend to get upset. So I'm passing the torch on to my number one. Okay. Mike just said my salad's real good. Anyway, Mike, DJ. The first game Mike could play was like an eight point deficit. Mike over DJ. Second time was almost like a 30-point deficit. Mike over DJ. DJ back here, I know he plotting. I told Mike, sleep with your album, boy. There you gonna be out here practicing while he think we sleep. <laughs> so, we have to sell tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to fry it Sunday. I think I'm going to fry some chicken, have a boiled potato, and, and a, a salad. Maybe a white salad for fried chicken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tomato, onion, cucumber. Maybe a little celery. Mm-hmm. Everything is good. What do you think, Mikey? I think it was delicious. He said you think it was delicious. I ain't gonna lie. It's good. See, I ain't even had to put that spice on it. I didn't either. I was gonna put a little hot sauce on there, but the spice is right. I have Chef Ramsay would say it's dead on. I got ginger ale Sprite in here. Ginger ale Sprite with lemonade. Mikey said ginger ale Sprite lemonade. Either way, it's fine. <laughs> DJ, you finished eating? No. Okay. DJ, eat slow. You done? Are you done? Oh, yeah. I was thinking. I was, I was thinking of something. I was thinking of moving my head. Prayer out my throat. You got what? I got lost. I was thinking of a scenario in the head. I lost it. Mm -hmm. You still writing raps and stuff? Yeah, here you go. <clears throat> Found out my nephew Daniel. He's like a ghost writer. He helps his buddy in the studio and stuff. Now, I'm sure he's pretty good, but I still have yet to hear anything. My uh, friend, that's my producer, he made a song and he wants me to get on it with him. He wants you to do what? He wants me to get on it with him. Like, right. you want to read it? I was helping him fix the song because he, uh, he called me. And sometimes me and my friends, we'll just call each other and freestyle to each other. 
We talk about when we're gonna go back to the studio. Cause we always, his dad owns a studio, and he lets us go in there for free. And being there rapping, so he can steal your stuff, cause ain't nothing co- copywritten. No. Bad business. I have a buddy that used to produce. They always try to get us over, me and Mike, over his house to freestyle. I remember that time I made a rap up about uh, the... Toilet paper and wipe your ass? Yeah. It was actually a hit. Mike was being funny and freestyle about toilet paper and wipe your ass. Our associate was getting very angry because he wanted him to really freestyle. Now I told Mike, don't do that because he can steal what you're doing. What you say, he can say he wrote. There ain't no way you can prove otherwise because it's supposed to be freestyle. So we just stopped doing it. That's why it's called freestyle. That's why it's called freestyle. Motherfuckers hear it, they free to write that shit down. Yeah, Nevertheless, her my buddy done shacked up with some new girl, left his wife. Now he live in a whole nother state. He did contact me and say he was in the hospital. Then he hurt his back or whatever. His knees, his back, something. Now, the last time this happened, my buddy that he's married to, she would take care of him. I don't know if they filed for divorce yet. I'm sure divorce can be a horrible thing. And I pray we never go through that. Look at it. Don't you call me a fatty. This is me when I was talking to you wrong. I'm going to just check my eyes while I'm going to tell it. Yeah. Listen to me, woman. <laughs> Oh, the Flash returns April 21st for the people that watch the Flash out there on the CW. What would you say, DJ? Um, you know the CW show, The Flash? The Flash. Yeah, it, it comes back the 21st. Of April? Yeah, Tuesday. Every Tuesday at 8, you guys. DJ, DJ said every Tuesday at 8 on CW, mm-hmm. The Flash is coming back on. Yeah. They postponed production because of Corona for a little bit, but they've been filming off of where they usually film at, and then we're making some shows. We're trying to continue the shows. It's like mid-season, like six right now. Like season like episode three, it's like mid-season. Oh, the Arrow. Was a good show. It had uh, eleven, uh, eleven or twelve seasons, and it yeah. just it just ended uh, like late twenty nineteen. I wonder how they judge the season because that show ain't been on no twelve years. Yeah, it has. No, that show's been on since two what two thousand twelve. Well, yeah, the first episode. Yeah. See, it don't add up to you either. Like I said, this show ain't been coming on no 12 years. I'm trying to understand how they seasons go. Do you mean like they start up every other season? Yeah. They're like, they go like for two months of like a season. Daniel, you didn't know the answer. Don't sit there 
Like you no, just done discovered some shit. Because they, they, um, they announced when they come back, and I'll Yeah, they announced when they coming back, but they ain't no for the whole year. Well, they did it with their uh, the season finale, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earth. Like they had one part in 2018, and then the next part came out in 2019. It was a two parter. That show ain't been on in 12 years. Look it up on Google. <laughs> I never even heard of that show too, just a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. When I first seen the commercial, I said the arrow. What the hell is that? October October 18th. No, October 10th, 2012. Original release date of the show. Well, the pilot episode. That ain't even seven years ago. October... Ten, eight years ago. 2012? Yes, eight years ago. It's the year 2020. That's what I'm saying, Daniel. You over there going, wait a minute, she's right. Uh-huh. Yes, what? Eight, eight, That's eight years ago. How's that 20? How's that 12? How's that possible? Wait, this one's the same. Okay. Yeah. They're saying the same thing, damn. They must do two seasons a year. That's the only thing I can get out of it. But then again, they kind of killed them off. So, yeah. He's, he's kind of really dead in the crisis on the universe. So. How damn. Mm-hmm. Your name should have been Batman. Hmm? You're always trying to fight for justice. <laughs> it's like Batgirl, that's the oh, Batwoman, sorry. That's a newer show. Yeah, that's new. Hasn't been on for that long. Halle Berry kind of talked that. Oh, they got, um... <clears throat> no, she got to be white. Because this one was the, the white was not, not the black black on that one. Hmm. It's a different earth. So they have this thing, it's called the multiverse. Every earth has a counterpart, but that earth could be like evil versions of what you are, and then they're all different versions, but there's 52 universes, and each one is different than the last. You hear him? It's a lot. Can we say nerd, boys and girls? Everybody knows what the new 52 is. That that was like years ago. It's necessary. But that's, anyway. When comics were getting bad, they, they did that. And they reset everything. So they could reset. It sounds good. You hear what I'm saying, Mike? He's sleeping. Mike, don't go sit after you eat. Like babysitting, you hear me? If you like what you see... Like, subscribe, comment. As for Chef now, they just voted off Gizzy. She got voted off in Kev. As usual, Chef eliminating everybody. Oh, whining ass Brett still there. Heard something about he's Italian, he's Italian. But the past couple Italian dishes, he done faltered. I'm just saying. Man, like. I don't know if I'm going to do a show tomorrow. But if I do, I'll see you tomorrow.